Alright, so in this video I'm going to be showing everyone how to uh, fix a water damaged phone um, that fell in water and maybe it doesn't turn on at all or the white sticker that's usually on there is red. Um, this right here is a Blackberry Curve. It's an older phone but it does have water damage and it wasn't even turning on. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a water damage repair. Um, first thing all you need is a ultrasonic a cleaner which is this baby right here um, all you gotta do is order one of these um, and I'm gonna have them on my uh, cellular pros website all you need to do is fill it up with uh, one and a half or two cups of water and then you place the motherboard inside and uh, this machine has 30 watt or 50 watts. I always use the 50 watt and then I put it to 10 minutes. And then you gotta press the power button and it starts. I'm not gonna do it yet because there's no water in there. So let me get some water first. Let me put the phone here on the side. You can see the motherboard is right here. I wanna get some water. All right, so here are the cups of water. Pour the water in there. It's one. It's gonna need more. Yeah, that should be good enough. It should be about halfway, three quarters of the way full. All right, so place the motherboard in. Um, you don't have to put it in any specific way, um, but just throw it in there. and let it run so I'm gonna let the uh, I'm gonna let the machine do its thing for 10 minutes and after it's done uh, I'll show you the next step all right so there's about a minute left I'll wait till it's done and I'll show you what we gotta do now I've fixed, uh, I'm not sure how many, but I've fixed a bunch of water damage phones with this machine. Alright, so it's done. So now all you gotta do is open it up. You're gonna notice that the water is kinda hot. That's because of, you know, that's what the machine does. <laughs> it's like a little microwave. Alright, so take the motherboard out and then shake it real well to get all the water off of it. Or not. Not all the water, obviously, but to get most of the water off of it. <clears throat> Shake it a little bit. All right, and then once you're done shaking it, you're going to need to get a little container full of rice or a big bag of rice. And then you're going to stick the motherboard inside the rice. Since it's, you know, since it was just wet, now now you can put the motherboard in rice because the rice is going to dry up any uh, you know, a little bit of water that's left on the motherboard. So we're going to we're going to put it in here and we're going to leave it in here. I usually like to leave it for a couple of hours, but yeah, I'm going to leave it probably in there for I'm probably gonna leave it in there all night and then tomorrow morning I'll open it up and and I'll show you the next step and once you're done with the machine that you take out the motherboard to put it in rice uh, you know empty out the water from the machine because that water shouldn't stay there if it's not gonna be uh, in use alright so I left uh, the motherboard and the rice the entire night, um, but like I said, uh, you know, you can also, you don't have to leave it for such a long period of time, but, uh, but you know, it's a little bit better to leave it uh, for a longer period of time because that way it can dry up, you know, more water. All right, so all you got to do is take the motherboard out of the rice, doo -doo -doo. 
All right, so there's the motherboard, you know, clean it up. Make sure there's no rice left on there. All right, and then I always like to, once I take the motherboard out, I like to get a, you can either use a heat gun or a hair dryer and just blow the motherboard up. That way if there's any little bit of uh, humidity left in there, the heat and the air will completely dry it out. All right, and then once you're done heating it up, once you're done heating it up, all you gotta do is just put the phone back together, and hopefully it will work again. And if it not, then maybe the motherboard is completely fried, or maybe you'll just have to change uh, some of the parts on the phone, like the LCD, or uh, you know, you gotta check out all the the parts, to make sure that they're all functioning correctly. But yeah, that's uh that's how you fix a water damaged phone. Thank you for watching. All right, and just so that there's proof that this works, I'm actually going to uh put this BlackBerry curve together so that you see that it that it does uh that it does work. charging that means it's if it's gonna work <laughs> thank you for watching